And more now on the news that the Chief Constable of West Mercia Police, David Shaw, has said his force seriously let down the parents of a teenager who was murdered in Shropshire two years ago. A serious case review into the death of Georgia Williams has highlighted a series of mistakes made by different agencies who had contact with her killer, Jamie Reynolds. He is serving a whole life sentence. Well, I'm joined now by Jadine Dunning, who knows the family of Georgia Williams well, and she also discovered after Georgia's death that she was also one of the targets of perpetrator Jamie Reynolds. Jadine, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. Um, how exactly then did you find out that Jamie Reynolds had also targeted you? The police came and contacted me um, just after Georgia's body was sadly recovered. And then they asked me if I could identify some images that he had. And these were photos of you on which he'd drawn a noose around your neck, is that right? Yeah, he doctored these images, yeah. That must have been utterly shocking to you. It's completely shocking, it really threw me. You know, you're just getting over the devastation that Georgia had been killed to then find out that, well, actually, he had images of you also and the police knew about this many years ago. So these images of you, uh, this predated the murder of Georgia, is that your understanding? Sorry, say that again. Um, the, the images of you on which he'd drawn a noose around your neck, as far as you know, did that predate at Georgia's murder? Well, yeah, this was back in 2008. The police got handed in my images. So, clearly, if you'd been told about this, if you had known anything about this, mm -hmm. you would have warned friends of yours. Exactly. I have no doubt in my mind that if police had warned me, I could have told my best friend Scarlett, who is Georgia's sister. Do you know what I mean? And they could have given her a warning. And I do believe in my heart of hearts that if jobs had been done properly, Georgia would still be with us today. I was listening to an interview uh, you did earlier and something you said struck me. You said you thought too many chances had been given to Reynolds at the expense of, of protecting the public. Tell us more about your thoughts on that. Well, my thoughts on that are really there were so many red flags and warning signs there that I can't understand how that many different authorities didn't pick up on those. From where I'm sitting, I feel like I'm being completely disregarded. The police say they have a duty of care to protect the public, but it seems to me like they had a duty of care to protect Reynolds because I was completely disregarded. There was no safeguarding measures put in place for me whatsoever. Uh, you sound, understandably, very angry still. Of course. Of course, that's something that is unforgivable. I appreciate the police saying that they're trying to make changes now and... They're trying to move forward and I hope to continue to see these changes being made. But at the end of the day, I or Georgia's family can't forgive what's already been done. They say they've made a mistake. It's more than just a mistake. There's a number of mistakes, a number of warnings. He was a known danger to them when they got handed my images and why they feel that they shouldn't have told me in his best interest to me is I can't understand that. Uh, you recently attended a, a workshop set up by police. Uh, yeah. What was that about? Can you tell us why you were there? It was around the training, really, of the multi-agencies. It was a multi-agency seminar, a workshop. And I just had to get up and say my bit and how it's affected me and how I feel that how these m different multi-agencies have failed and failed me and failed the public and failed Georgia. Do you finally have any confidence that... Uh, these failures will be addressed, that things will change? I like to think so, I hope so. You know, they've got a very long way to go, but at the end of the day, devastating mistakes like this cannot be allowed to happen again. It's, it's shocking to me. I can't understand it. Jadine, thank you so much for talking to us uh, this morning. Uh, Jadine Dunning there, thank a friend of Georgia Williams. Now the headlines for you on BBC News and two women who say they were misled by their ex-husbands and should get more money in their divorce settlements win their Supreme Court fight. The parents of murdered 17-year-old Georgia Williams say her death could have been prevented if police had recognised the danger posed by her killer. The Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell dismisses a call from George Osborne for Labour MPs to rebel against their leadership and support the government's fiscal charter. It's time for Sport Now. Let's head to the BBC Sports Centre and join Ollie this morning. Hi there, Ollie. Morning, Anita. England.